today we are going to discuss um, a number of things but actually what i really wanted to discuss about is the issues that farmers are facing <clears throat> i've said many times that me i always do videos depending on your um on your challenges or your your requests uh whenever i post a video and people send me messages against that video telling me the challenges what they want me to handle that's what i do that's what i always do and today i'm going to answer a number of things um that i would like you to pay more more attention not only you but even your friend you get even the government itself even the organizations that would really like to see an increment in the uh, number of animals in the country um i think you can see um me, me always call these dollars and uh most of you call me mr dollars because i really want to convert the open check into dollars i've said this many times to the farmers that if you're a farmer you have an open check it's up to you to put in the amount of money either in dollars either in euro or in your area um, um you know money that you convert it to what am i trying to mean by that is that this is an optional uh, project that can be done by you or by your friend or you do it with passion or you do it like the way how people um, like it but uh, today let's discuss about this because every person would really love to see a healthy uh, herd or a healthy flock in our country or you know in your area and the reason of doing this project is not because that you love it so much but it's because you need dollars i've told you many times i've told you many many times that me i don't do farming because i want to do it or i don't do farming because other people are doing farming me i'm a poor man i always tell you that i have to look at something that can give me dollars that's what i look at i look at those procedures i can follow to make dollars out of the project so how do i do what is the procedure the procedure is making my animals okay i told you many times that we have um, the pillars of animal farming or a successful farmer that is supposed to follow one is supposed to follow what they call genetics very good genetics is supposed to follow the nutrition you know you also have to look at the management in top general so like today we are going to talk about the management part of it because this is that is what is taking what i'm going to explain about today what i'm going to talk about is the rampant outbreak of diseases in your area in the whole country or in the whole world because many people um i was chatting to some of my colleagues in uh, nigeria and uh, the guy was trying to explain to you what can help you increase the number of animals in your area not because you have to have money or you have to have a lot of dollars to bring up those animals no the issue is how do you handle the diseases uh for your information the diseases can be handled in a very simple way and i'm telling you the truth you might bear with me or not bear with me or believe in me or not diseases are the easiest uh practice that you can handle in animals like for example we are aware of the common diseases that attacks our animals in your area even in my area even in your country that's where we begin doing the vaccination schedules depending on the area that you're living in so like in my country of nigeria actually the whole africa some of these are apart from maybe south africa because i didn't find a lot of issues in south africa but i found a lot of issues in i i see in nigeria i see in uganda i see in kenya and you know other countries the diseases that are really attacking us they are lay laymanis disease what am i to try to mean is that if any disease has a vaccine that is a laymanis uh disease let's the, the, the most challenging disease that i will talk about is heart water because it has no vaccine but still we can handle in ways of preventing it but actually for these diseases like the way you see ppr you see ccpp you see close studios you see off uh, brucella those are all vaccinatable diseases 
what am I trying to uh, explain to you is that uh, you guys, if you really want to accumulate number of animals, people will bear me uh, a witness. Uh, many people have accumulated animals. And um, when they reach around 1,000 animals, they always get outbreaks and kills more of the animals. Why do they have those kind of uh, ways? One, people don't take vaccination as a routine. People don't take vaccination as, you know, um, a must. Because now let me, for example, tell you, I have some animals that I really love, like me, when I look at it, I just believe that those are my dollars, like it or not. I think I can show you, like, maybe... Um, this is a pure, pure goat. I think you can see. And this pure goat in my country goes for 2.5 million. You get it? But I can lose this goat just because of my negligence. Why? Because of not doing what they call vaccination. Vaccinating that animal, it only needs, let's say, for example, we have a vaccine like CCPP and PPR. Uh, sorry, C, uh, there is PPR and POX. It's a combined vaccine it will cost me only 500 shillings. If that goat is 2.5 million, why don't I make sure that every year I spend 500 shillings to vaccinate that animal? I'm telling you the truth. The action of vaccine for these animals is all about awareness, creating awareness to the animal's body that this disease happens. You get it? So if that disease is happening in my country, what I do, I get the vaccines, then I give it to that animal, I create that body aware of the existence of the disease. So whereby if a disease happened to come close to my farm, all my animals are aware and they already have um, the antibodies against it. So it will not attack me like the way um, it would attack other people. You get it? So for your information, make sure that you vaccinate your animals. Because... Vaccinating an animal, it's less costly than treating an animal. And what I, um, I have realized, like in you guys, you really want to do the treatment than doing the vaccination. There is issues in treatment because when you do treatment, if I ask you, for, uh, for example, every hospital, it has a mortuary. Do you mean these people want people to die, but because they are sure that death can happen it is the same story like the animals death can happen you get it so treatment let treatment don't be your aim that i'm going to do treatment no prevent it before you do the treatment so that you decrease on the risks of losing animals like for example uh, a guy called me he has he had over 800 goats and he was telling me the whole flock is really um being attacked by uh, by pox I told him, have you ever vaccinated? He says, uh, I'm not so sure whether he really vaccinated. And then I told him to do the vaccination, then treatment, then isolation, such that we can stop that mortality. My take is this, you guys. I want you to understand me very, very well. If we really need to increase the number of animals, let's make sure that vaccination is a routine. If government really wants to help you people, Instead of giving you one goat, let them give the vaccine to those that have the animals. Because one person who has over 500 or 200 or 100 animals is given vaccines from the first vaccine to the last vaccine. It's going to help more people because many people are picking goats from that one person and is spreading the whole genes all over the country. If it is a disease in that one farm, is going to uh, spill over the whole area with the disease. What do we do? Instead of a government giving one person that you be a farmer with that one god, and really you want to prevent diseases from spreading all over the country, make sure that those people who have over 100 animals or 50 animals and above be given free vaccines. If you give them free vaccines and you make sure the application has been done, then you're going to stop the disease from spreading all over the country. But you neglect those with big number of animals, then you concentrate on a person who has two or three. You get it? That one of two or three goats is not going to spread the disease. 
reason being is having few and even if they die those are two three goats dying but that person that is having a big number of animals there is a, a high chances of spreading it to the whole system so my approach you guys make sure you avail vaccines to those people who have bigger number of animals such that you stop the spread from those because he's also on the risk because he has neighbors the neighbor will bring one disease the disease will concentrate in his farm because he has a number of animals and you know what is going to happen whoever wants to buy will concentrate on the farmer that has a bigger number of animals so that means the spread of the disease is going to be very very dominant so my dear this is a piece of advice to all of you the only way we are going to stop diseases from this country or from wherever you are make sure that vaccination is 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 a must make sure that you vaccinate all the possible diseases that always attacks our animals make it a serious serious program for vaccination it's too cheap and than treatment because in treatment you have a risk of benefiting an animal um, being treated successfully and come out alive or dead you get it you can successfully treat and it can successfully die so rather try and make the prevention than treatment otherwise even if a disease comes in your flock it will not spread at a high rate why because the bodies of your animals will be aware about the disease so my dear whoever wants to join the family take a vaccination as a must two uh, those that have animals take it a note that every every year you are supposed to vaccinate your animals if you're not vaccinating your animals you're creating a risk not only you but all of us so if we prevent